Well, you have you basically made an estimate that it's going to be seven and a half million, two and a half, thirty-five percent of whatever is coming from the two and a half million, right? Mm -hmm. What happens if by two fifteen, two sixteen, your your estimates change? I don't and the costs go up. I can't really answer that question. It's other to say the design team. That's why we. Why, the why isn't that a concept of a ratio established so that it, it incorporates and locks in a cost of living increase if this, in effect, effectively in, in by 216 or 217 is going to demand a higher cost. Otherwise, you have Grant, Greenpoint Landing paying two and a half million. Your costs are going to go up. You're going to, you're going to say maybe we don't have the money. Because it, the ratios change, Actually, and your and your 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 seven million may not be available <coughs> to cover the, the project that you established by next year. Right. I mean, how do you how do you go ahead to uh, to make the proper analysis for that for a project going forward like that? So I can't answer that question. I'm not, I can't speak to the mechanism that agrees to the funding for the park. I don't know if there's somebody from city planning. With somebody from HPD that can speak to the mechanism. It'd be nice to have that answered in some form. The, the mechanism, the methodology of going into it, how seven and a half million dollars will build the project that you establish by when? I guess by next year. The terms of the the terms of the agreement are fee terms. They're not percentage terms. I don't under, I don't have the backstory of why they're done that way or what the precedent is for that, but. What's being proposed is two and a half million dollars from the developer. The design team that's on board is being asked to design the project to that budget of seven million dollars. In time, I guess in a year or so, when we have a design ready, we should have a finalized budget. But all I can say is that right now they're being asked to design to that amount, and we think that that's realistic. And Parks is satisfied with this um, this amount of money, two point five million. Uh, yeah, I mean, we believe we can build a park on that site for that amount. If we can't, then we have to you know, look for additional funding. We don't, we're asking them to design it for two seven million dollars now. The question is very simple. Which the argument you brought up earlier that we feel it's not really the comfort amount that we'd like to see there. That's the developer. Is there a possible that the developer should give a commitment that if things come up in the future? We should be given that number at the minimum and using that ratio, whatever the amount is, to do the calculation and ask him to come up to have that put in at least make what you want. I'm very a little bit happy. Something the developer should. That's something I can't answer tonight, but I certainly have heard the question. You do have city planning here. I don't know. If really, I, what, I, what I heard the question was that you wanted to know. Part, and then what would happen if it, what that meant. I can understand your You're, you're tying in $7 million to a design, if I'm not mistaken. You're tying in $7 million to a design today. What's going to happen in three years? And if it requires additional funding, I'm not getting a clear answer from parts, but that's the city. You never get a clear answer from that. <laughs> but you can bring back a more clearer answer. Because you calculate cost of living increases for everything. Market rate housing, all of that. All that has to be calculated if you're going to be building out for the next 10 years. So I'm sure you have all the number crunches in the world doing all that work for you. So you certainly can project by three years from now whether that number is going to be realistic or not. Or whether you may need to add, uh, make an additional amount of the payment to, to make that part design realistic. Right. You have to understand we have so many other we, you know, again, on the self-interested side of things, we agree that this is a part that we want to see built. It's going to be, it's going to be great for all of us. So I hear the question, okay. which I can't answer tonight, but I will. Can you come back with an answer yeah, yeah, yeah. before but the board meeting? Yes, the board meeting is on nine and nine. Yes. So that's something that we'll that okay? I'll be responding to. Um, yeah, what do you think? Too? Well, yes, except that I do. this as being something that would be part of the recommendation. And so there will be things. I mean, I'd like to, again, we've got this now, and we'd like to be able to respond to all of the points that you've Okay. So are we ready to, um, I'm not taking questions from the public, so are we ready to, are you, have you addressed all of the items that you wish to address? I think I've addressed all of them, if you think I have not. Um, 
I think we need to think about because we heard tonight and we saw this tonight and we understand that we also have the September 9th as the date and we want to respond and I think we will respond to all of this in writing before. As soon as possible. As soon as possible so that you can take that into account in your response. Thank you. Um, oh, and I also just think that I really appreciate the community board's uh, patience and attention and questions regarding this project. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, we have a uh, we have a preliminary proposal. No, no, I'm just going to come here. And I'm guessing that you would like to add what we call a friendly amendment to it. I, I would, but I don't have like to work on the Well, we have to vote tonight. Uh, it has to be now. Um, does anyone want to add anything to the proposal tonight? Well, it seems to me what you what you want to ask is one of the things that you want to add is you want commitment that the, that the monies will be that will be uh, set aside for the community. We're not going to the general fund the monies for the car. And also that the 2.5 million or that, that the, um, mm -hmm. the developer participate in any increases in the budget for the buildings of the park so that it can be built in a realistic time frame. Up to a third, I mean, a third, which is the third of the cost of the personal cost of the building. In the time frame that they're that the city is on it. I don't know that we can put that on the but if we leave it with frozen capital, and if they get that to develop any increase of budget, we need to delay the building. Otherwise, I don't know how we'd get a commitment to the integration. <coughs> Unless you want to... Because in the 80-20 part, in the other part, the, the integration, as I understand it, and you can certainly correct me, the integration, as I understand it, will not happen in this, this, this plot that we're talking about, this is the same building. It will happen throughout the rest of the development as that goes along. They will, they expect to have the 20 inclusionary uh, housing in the, in the, I don't know about all of them, but yes, it could be all of them. And what you're saying is some of the buildings might have even better, that they might have affordable units, you know, up even higher than seven stories, maybe the penthouse, I don't know that, but the, the reason we, we, we thought to keep it up to seven stories was in consideration of the developers' economics that, you know, we understand that they're very high levels that they may need to have the market rates so that they can pay for more affordable. We are asking for a lot of affordability here. Uh, so I would recommend leaving it the way we have it, and then if they, if they can commit to doing better, 